Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing my back-to-back -back videos on my Watts Solds for last week, which, um, well last weekend, which was the long weekend, July 1st through the 3rd. So, you know, you got to take into consideration a lot of people are busy, a lot of people are outside visiting with family. So sales were down a little, but I'm still very content um, with how the weekend went. And, you know, I'm always grateful for every single sale I make, you know, because, you know, there's lots of choices out there as far as platforms and items to choose from. And they chose me. So I'm very grateful. All right. Let's see. I only sold on two platforms for the weekend, which was eBay. Of course, that's my first place for everything. Everything starts on eBay and then I use List Perfectly to cross list to the other platforms. Um, and then I sold on Mercari. I like sharing my Watt solds because, you know, not everything is, you know, high dollar for me. I sell a whole lot of items in my bread and butter. For me, bread and butter is eight to twelve dollars. Um, but if you think about it, every sale adds up. This is our primary income. So, you know, I got to do what I got to do to make, you know, to pay my bills. So, you know, I've mentioned this before, but if you're new to my channel, my husband um, pulled a report and last year on eBay only, um, my sales that were $8.99 or less. Now, I don't do free shipping, so that would have just been my sales before fees, but $8.99 or less paid my mortgage for the entire year. Just those sales and more. But, you know, so those people who say I won't list for anything less than $25 or, you know, I, again, I say this quite often, but, um, I can find, you know, $110 items before I'm going to find that one item that I can sell for $100. It's a little bit more work, but, you know, I have a better chance of selling my items than finding that one $100 item. And, and I do find them, and those are great blessings, but, you know, I enjoy selling plush in my bread and butter category because it's affordable you know people can a lot of times can't find them anywhere except on ebay because they're no longer available in the stores and i just and i'm saving them i'm recycling them however you want to put it but i'm saving them from the landfills because i pick up a whole lot of stuff at the goodwill bins and that's like the last stop before it goes to the to the landfills all right let's get started um, let's see, I bought, I think Robert brought me a whole tote full of little people back from a yard sale. I'm still going through them, but I have pulled some to list. And a lot of times, little people, you know, I get a few dollars each, um, unless they're more rare. I did put these three together, but there was damage to them. But somebody's still going to want them because, you know, either fill in or replace you know a lost one and they don't mind that you know there's a little bit of paint rub or anything like that but I ended up selling this Rapunzel set of little people for eight dollars best offer this was another sale to a different buyer but this was little people Disney Disney Cinderella and her fairy godmother there was some paint wear on them also they sold for best offer of seven dollars this is Thomas the tank engine this was Sydney it's one of the die cast metal trains and I sent out a best offer of ten dollars which was accepted Glovelea. I'm just going to say Glovelea girl doll. I pick these up. You know, I find them quite often, so they must be something more current. I'm not sure, but I sent a $9 offer out on it and it did sell. But this is like my second one in just a couple of weeks that's sold. 
This was a Play School Marvel Hulk mech armor robot. I think Robert picked this up maybe for me. I think it was a dollar and it sold for $16.16. .16. It was kind of big, 10 inches. These are the Snap and Style figures. Fisher Price puts, puts them out. There's a doll series through Fisher Price or um, this Disney series of Minnie Mouse. These little outfits snap on the figure. I usually pick them up and save them till I have quite a bit. This was a couple of lots that I had picked up at yard sales or at the bins. Um, but th th these sold very quickly. Um, they sold for the $31.45. So definitely make sure if you find these little hard plastic dresses and all it is is the front. Let me see if I can pull these up like this. See, it's just the front and it snaps right on the bodies. You can see there's shoes. There's packages and purses, um, but definitely keep your eyes out for them and then you can make lots because the dolls also sell quite well. Some more sales from my um, viewer, Lori. Thank you very much. Um, she's been such a great support for me. Um, she bought quite a few items again. I'm gonna share two of the items that she picked. This was a Commonwealth Peach plush. It sold for $15. And this was a Gons Webkins Rockers. I think I showed this very recently in a haul and it sold for $28. So once again, Laurie, thank you very much. These were Gap jeans. They sold for $17.71. I'm selling, you know, quite a bit of clothing compared to how many we have listed. And then today I started, I'm, I'm going to make a concerted effort to try to catch up again. I'm a little bit behind because I, I, I forget about the clothing because I've got so much other stuff to list. But got to get clothing listed because it's selling for us. Um, this was another viewer sale. So thank you very much, Sharon. Um, I sent out a $15 offer on these Strawberry Shortcake Vintage Pets. And she accepted. So again, thanks, Sharon. This is Fontanini. Fontanini. This is Fontanini um, Nativity Donkey. I picked up a couple of these at an estate sale. I think I paid $2. It might have been half price, but I don't remember. So we'll just go with $2. Um, I sent out a $15 offer and it sold. These next two, I listed one morning and they sold probably within a couple of hours of me listing. It was these um, needlepoint stockings I picked up um, at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a dollar or two for them and I accepted best offers of $15 for each. So it was $30 for the two stockings. This was for my online hybrid auction. This is Crayola Bear Plush from 1986. I sent out a $15 offer and it sold. I'm really trying to get, those have been listed for a little over a year. So I'm really starting to, anytime it shows up on my make an offer, I'm trying to make really good offers so I can get them sold. This is Ty George Gorilla Plush. It's one of the Beanie Boos. It sold for an offer of $10 that I sent out. This is Dandy. I went back and forth on this, whether it was a cow or a hippo. It was listed as both, so I just put both words in there. I sent out a $12 offer and it sold. This is a ceramic baby deer figure. Pretty sure we picked this up at that estate sale where we bought a whole bunch of ceramic stuff. Um, it sold for $13.45. These are lawn darts, but it's not the recalled ones. Doesn't have the point on the end. Um, I picked these up at the bins and I thought, you know, somebody who already has the set might want to increase it or replace missing ones, damaged ones. So I went ahead and listed it and sent out a $10 offer. The This is Unipack. Um, Monkey plush. It was large, 24 inches. It sold for $20.66. Probably something I picked up at the bins. 
when I say bins, for those of you who don't know, that's the Goodwill outlets where it's pay by the pound. We go on several sourcing trips a year and we fill up a trailer and I bring them back and I just list them as I have time. Um, this is Kelly Toy Purple Sloth Hanging Plush, 20 inches from 2018. I sent out a $16 offer and it sold. These are Venezia women's jeans, size 3. They sold for $16.81. Again, almost all of these clothing items, I had ended them and relisted them, and then they sold within a day or two. These were not your daughter's jeans. They sold for $16.81. This is a Pioneer Stoneware Ramekin. Little. Very little, as you can tell here. Um, very small. I always look up Pioneer Woman. There's tons out there, but they discontinue very quickly because a lot of them are sold in Walmart and there's always new colors, new designs coming out. So definitely if you see them at yard sales, check them, especially if they're cheap. I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar for this and it did sell for $6, but still, that's still a good profit. It all adds up, right? This was in a bag of stuff. I think Robert bought this for me at a yard sale. I want to say he paid either $1.25 or $2.25 for a bag. And it had Barbie stuff in it and little people stuff and just all kinds of different things in there. Um, this was from 2000 and it sold very quickly for $12. This is Kids Preferred. A lot of times Carter's is also now Kids Preferred, but it was just a cute little hedgehog. It sold for $8.05. Gift bags. I've talked about this, I think, on my live. When you're in yard sales and estate sales, go dig through the gift bags because sometimes you'll come across something like this. This was Pokemon Jigglypuff from 2000. I probably paid a quarter for it, if not less, um, because sometimes I get a bundle of them and they'll say a dollar for all of them. Um, and it sold for $9. So definitely keep your eyes out for them. This was a Brooks Brothers um, shirt. I sold it, shipped it. I got a return um, on it for um, Changed Mind. Listed it, sold it immediately. Again, $10.25. And then this is Fisher Price. Definitely look, watch for the Snugga Monkeys. Um, some of them are green, some of them are orange, I believe. This one sold for $17.95. And then I had three Mercari sales. I tend to put a lot of my low dollar plush that I'm trying to move on Mercari and it's working. I sold this Hallmark Monkey for $5. This Swaddle Me Lamb Plush for $6. And this Gunned Panda Bear from World Wildlife Federation for $6. It all adds up. It all adds up. All right. I'm done for this what solds for this past week. Um, I'm going to get started on getting a whole bunch of stuff processed. Um, I've got a whole bunch of uh, plush sitting right over there waiting on me. So that's going to be the first thing I do. I love to do plush, but then I got to force myself to stop and do the other things. The coffee mugs, the um, Christmas stuff, the hard goods, all of that stuff. And I try to... If you ever look in my store, a lot of times you'll see it in bunches where it'll be all plush and then all coffee mugs or all little people or all dollhouse stuff. That's just, it helps with the listing too because I use my own listings to do sell similar. Um, I don't trust other people's listings, but with mine I can. That way I know the categories are right, my store categories are right, my shipping's right. Um, there's no weirdness in there, but... I know a lot of people do use uh, sell similar to speed up the process for them. Let's all get to work, right? Bye.